radiation resistance will be too low. So when you get a mobile stick that won't give you a low SWR, no matter what you do, and you'll end up having to jam a shunt capacitor or an inductor, you can do it either way, and then re-resonate the system, then you have arrived. Oh, yeah. Well, I was doing that with the little, uh, I was doing that even with the, the ham sticks. So, yes, with the uh, the standard Hustler coils. I use a cap at the bottom. I used to use that tap inductor. But that's a pain in the ass when you and that and the other thing. So I have three caps. I got a 500, a 250, and a 125. That's for 80, 40, and 20. It works every time. The uh, the master mobile coil that I got from Tim, uh, bandwidth is so narrow, my siblings caused the SWR to spike. I'm using one of those. I got the, uh, the kilowatt. Yeah, that's the kilowatt up and running. Surprise! You needed it. <clears throat> to match uh, match the regular hustlers like that because they usually work just great. But it could be the way you have it mounted too. It's just doing something different than what everything I ever tried, which is possible. I didn't even think about it. It's just standard practice. Whatever antenna I have on there, I do the capacitive matching at the base. It makes a big difference. <laughs> Of course, with the Arc 5, it's not that important. That thing will load into anything. It doesn't care. Yep, that's right. Just dip the damn thing and go. Oh, it's dipped. It's gang tuned. Those things are the VFO and the, uh, uh, the the plate tuner gang tuned, and they track beautifully. So you got the coupling adjustment and uh, and the loading coil, which is not, very nice to have in a mobile situation. The last trip, something was wrong with my antenna system. When I, 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 I was like 3 to 1 SWR, 4 to 1 SWR. The Arc 5 didn't care. Still had 100 watts out, and everybody heard me. Now, if I was running a rice box, I would have been off the air. Yeah, yeah that's true. Good, good stuff in these tube transmitters. I like tubes. Tubes are good. I got the strangest questions from people. Oh, you guys are. How, how do the tubes survive the found the 50 of the vibration? Are you kidding? This thing was designed to be part of a B 17 and have flak thrown at it. Only 50 over? Yeah, only 50 over. He has boom, bang, W3 in the bar. Yeah, I gotta make some adjustments. Jesus, you're 30, 35 over. You just strapped uh, Dave. Hey, Perry, I got the 89 Caddy running. So when well, I bought the house, it was in the it was in the garage. They told me I had to take the car with the house. I let it sit for a year. What the hell? It's already sitting for another 12 years. Pulled the throttle body off it. The throttle shaft was seized because the, the mice got in the air cleaner. Well, anyway, long story short, the other day I fired the thing up, got video of it too. Son of a bitch runs good, but all four brakes were locked up. And it turned out the throttle body is worn to the point that the shaft is diag you know, moving diagonally and it binds. Well, I got a guy coming to give me 500 bucks. I hope. Nice. Well, good deal, man. Congrats. <laughs> It's a heck of a car there, man. You don't see too many 89 Cadillacs around anymore. Um, where I work at, though, there's, there's uh, a lot of... I, I work at, I guess, a, a lower-income demographic uh, where, where my shop is. So uh, we, we, we get our fair share of older cars, but not too many 89 Cadillacs um, It's definitely a classic. Ladies, you got to run. I'm fortunate about the... Uh, and, oh god, the Flyers hockey games on the other end. Score! Um, good morning. 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 Good Good deal, man. Yeah, I gotta get it up on uh, on YouTube. I got a YouTube channel. I'll put it up there. So get some Viagra, you'll get it up. You know, I looked at it. And I can get 3,500, maybe 4,000 for it, and the freaking throttle body is like 350 bucks. And by the time I got done adding up all the parts to do the brakes, <laughs> assuming nothing else was gone, I'm up to like 1,200 bucks. So I called some guy in the in the penny saver. Uh, you know, free classifieds. Uh, he says he buys old hot rods and muscle cars, so he's interested in them. They're going to come up tomorrow. I just can't list that damn thing on Craigslist. I already tried that. That's torture.
this thing will power up there. So. I had fun getting it running, you know, and I was going to well, put it this way. If the throttle body wasn't bad, I probably want to fix the brakes and kept it. It's, it's a small car. It's a G-body, front-wheel drive G-body with a four-and-a-half liter V8. You know, a cool little car. Uh, it would have been um, would have been your pimp's car in, 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 in 89. Pimps were driving a Mercedes by then, man. Uh, up here upstate, yeah, it was a little bit poorer than that. I was still in the caddies. You got that A440 case transmission, 4.5 wet sleeve, 500 bucks, that's great. Man, you should have a big smile. Well, if it was running... Go on eBay and other places. I've seen them as high as six grand. This is the uh, the Beatritz edition. It's really pimp out red weather and the whole lot. Very garish looking automobile, but yeah, if this guy gives me 500 bucks, I'll be happy. And then I got an 06 Crown Vic sitting here that I want to get rid of. And, uh, I think I'm going to bundle the two and see if he makes me an offer. As the uh, the 06 ended up. That was a Jersey car. It needs cats. I don't want to put $1,500 into it. I put $1,500 into my other Crown Vic, which was worth it. It's got fewer miles, and uh, it's not scabby. Yeah. yeah, trying to thin the herd here a little bit and make room for a race car. BTK has a Crown Vic, and his uh, spark plug hole is crapped out. You probably should just jam an engine in his, just so you know. Yeah, those, those Cadillacs, they're, they're cool looking and you know, all that pimped out stuff. That's fine business, but man, you could eat yourself alive keeping something like that running. Just eat yourself alive. Forget it. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, there's a kit. There's a uh, there's a, 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 an insert kit that comes in a few different sizes. Uh, BTK cylinder heads are not terminal. Um, I've suffered that problem on a couple of my cars that have that engine. And they were all repairable with the, uh, with the kit. If, if, if he's not a great mechanic, it, pays to, it, you know, it would be best to pay somebody to do it. But the technology is definitely out there. I've had it done and it works. And, uh, uh, because it's a 4.6 liter engine in a 4,000 pound car. My foot is on the floor most of the time. I drive my cop cars very hard, and I haven't had a repair, a repaired cylinder had died yet. Yeah, man. Well, my son had, well, you know, you helped, you helped me find it, uh, that car, a uh, cop car, and I drove it a bunch. That was a great car. We ended up giving my little family member that had some problems. Yeah, and uh, when Perry checked in here, it gave us signal reports. I think it was the very peak of uh, propagation right before it craps out. Yeah, the, uh, the four landers are starting to creep up in there now. I think the band's starting to go a little bit long. Uh, you guys are fine up here, no problem. Yeah, you're still doing fine down here, but um, yeah, there may be some... Uh, Oh, you guys are uh, still yeah, doing fine. Like a, uh, a really uh, minty is not 50 over like you were a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, buddy. I grabbed a uh, very nice SB200 with a good set of original Citron tubes in it for 350 bucks. A uh, tough with guy on QRZ.com. He was local. He said, oh, it makes 500 watts, 600 watts out on, on, eight, on 80, but it doesn't work right on the higher bands. I only get a couple of higher watts. Well, his rice box didn't like the SWR and the, uh, that the input presented. <laughs> yep. I'm up on 20 meters drawing the pants off of that thing with the S line. I'm a happy camper. Yeah, I probably some dummy used it as a CV app and burnt up the tuned input. No, it was clean. I looked for that. I had a part. Everything was fine. Um, I, I I tweaked the little coils and found out in short order it's not neutralized on the higher bands. But uh, hell, even my Olinko rice box drives it real good. I've been looking for a small amp like that for a while. Quick question. That's George. Uh, just checking propagation and stuff. Am I still making it over propagation-wise? You're the loudest guy in here, George. George, you're 30 over. Okay, it's Mother Nature, man. Okay, I'm just making a log. This happens to be the best time for me. Uh, about an hour now, 6, yeah, uh, 6.30, almost 8 o'clock. It's prime time for me. 
Thank you, guys. Is your antenna really uh, behind the facade of that restaurant? Well, kind of. Oh, wow, because I looked, I, I did Google Earth. Uh, and I'm like, this guy's giving a phony address or not? <laughs> oh, man, congratulations. Hey, thank you. A lot of work, though. Thank you, guys. I'm going to finish off uh, the barbecue valve in here. I think, I think I fixed it. So I'm going to go test it. If I don't come back and you hear boom... Yeah, Dave's down the shore. He could probably see the, uh, the flash from uh, from there. It's just amazing to me that, that how good you get out on that antenna, George. <laughs> Especially as of late. Now the, you know, we've been coming out of the summer months and the band's been getting I mean, you've been, all week you've been consistently <clears throat> in the evenings 20 to 30 over down here. I mean, you've... And you sound great, and you know, keep up seriously, man, uh, you know, many, uh, and many props and mucho thumbs ups, mucho, many thumbs up, is that, yeah, many thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs is ups is. Anyone else getting suspicious of Perry? Suspicious on what grounds? A little over complimentary there. Oh, he's, he's new to AM, he's just trying to fit in. Hello, gang, W2FFC. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get him to not change anything. Oh, I get it. Uh-huh, yeah, good. <laughs> George, you had it June 2017. It was perfect then. Still try. Well, he's like me, Clark. He never gives up. He's always trying to make it better. You can be W two F F C. So everyone's fading out. Is everyone coming back, or should I go do something else tonight? Yeah, who was that? W two M F D. John in Clifton Park, New York. Over. Well, we sounded good, but uh, the band is starting to go long, and so you're gonna you're gonna start hearing like people uh, talk weird, and uh, you won't be hearing us as well. But anyway, we're going to this game called the Alpha Victor Echo, and I'm located in New Jersey at the seashore. W2 very weak. W4.7 MFD. Hey Dave, and we're familiar with the New Jersey shore. Used to spend the time in New Jersey, and I won't hold it, but uh, I haven't fired this rig up in a long time. We're running 50 watts into a, in the BC 375. You have wonderful signals up here. We'll kick it back to you, Dave. Keep things short so I uh, don't uh, disappear into the wind. Man, holy crap, a BC-375. I haven't heard one of those out of the air in, I don't know, 20 years. Uh, congratulations. The thing sounds great. It's a nice thing to make you and some... Um, yeah, it's just kind of a bad time. We'll see uh, who else is here. Hey, right, John, I'm hearing you up in uh, down in Dutchess County, New York. It's Chris W2JBL. I've worked you before. Clifton Park, I remember that. I worked you from last worked you from my camp in Old Forge, New York, where I have an Rock Five station. And uh, I think about a year ago, so you were you had you were just getting the thing on the air for the first time. Oh, very good, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I know. You uh, you did amazing things with that Art 5, too, so I'm glad that uh, this rig has settled down and I'm having a good time with it. Over. Yeah, you. I think you ran a dynamo in there, either that or it's a heterodyne. I'm not on the Arc 5 now, nor am I at camp. I'm home in Dutchess County, New York, uh, in the, uh, the town of Fishkill on an HT-37 and an amp. You're not real loud, but you're making it down here. Are you running a dynamo? No, 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 Chris. I'm having a uh, 
A James Millen 750 volt power supply on it. Over. Wow, that's a rare find, the power supply. All right, now then it's just a heterodyne. There's a uh, there's a net operating down in the deep south on here, and we're getting some interference from them. Okay, very good. Well, I'm glad it's uh, still on the air and doing okay. Roger, Roger. Hi guys, <clears throat> I'll say 73. See you fellas, and uh, let me get going. It's been fun. Take care. Catch you guys down the log. To be three in the line. Perry, Perry, non-resident antenna, measure style tuner. If you like the way this is getting out. See ya. Perry, before you split, what happened to that Johnson? You had a kilowatt Johnson matchbox. That's what you want to run. But don't pay any attention to that W8 that was uh, making suggestions to you on uh, on AM phone about modifying it and putting, you know, series caps in and this and that and the other thing. That guy can't even figure out how to have 100% modulation. Do we and Dave were just discussing that thread earlier? So I stopped responding <laughs> and just just let them guys keep on going on. But anyway, no, one of the caps that had started arcing, that thing sat in my father's barn for 20 years, and um, it's a little uh, a little messed up at the moment. But um, yeah, like I said, one of the caps started to arc, and now it won't stop arcing. So. Uh, maybe we'll uh, dive back into it here, but I still I have it, and uh, maybe we'll we'll mess around with it. Now I'm running a Tentec 238 at the moment. Works pretty good, but I wanted to, you know, build my own, start a project, and uh, I guess I could, I should have known better. Um, I guess I was opening up a can of worms on there. I. I'm using a uh, kilowatt matchbox now. I've had it since I was like 16 years old. Um, I will admit to hitting it with as much as 3,500 watts RF. PEP, RF, sideband, or CW. I've never in my life flashed over a kilowatt matchbox. I have this one and I've had encounters with a lot of others. You can take those caps apart, take the cap apart, and then hit them with the old buffing wheel, you know, like the, the old white cloth buffing wheel or something like that. Get rid of all the sharp edges and, uh, you know, clear out any, you know, carbon track and everything like that. That should never rock over. you got some funny situation going on. But anyway, have a good even. W2JBL. Well, and that was with, that wasn't with this antenna. With the, well, I wasn't using the doublet at the, at the time. I was using uh, the coax-fed um, dipole, or yeah, the half-wave um, inverted V, excuse me, um, at the time. So I didn't even <clears throat> have a chance to um, try this antenna with it. Um, but I think something was messed up with that <clears throat> antenna or that installation or something was going wrong with it because... Um, I sure shouldn't have been that big of an improvement between these two antennas. And from what people are telling me, <clears throat> um, this has been quite a substantial improvement with this antenna. So um, I think something was going on <clears throat> with that uh, with that setup. But yeah, somebody I've, somebody else had recommended that to me. Um, was taking it apart and buffing down the uh, you know the where it flashed over and getting rid of the high the high points and the sharp edges and so on and so forth and, and uh, buffing things out there so that's probably what we'll do and uh, we'll uh, we'll put that on the uh, on the to-do list. All right, guys, let me get on out of here. It's been fun. Take care. And uh, thanks for the suggestions, uh, Chris, Dave. We'll talk to you guys later, Clark. And anyone else who's listening, W3MMR. Yep, seven degrees. You'll find at some point whether you either you get that going or the Rick Measures tuner that Dave suggests, which uh, I think my father actually invented before Rick Measures was on the planet. Um, either one of those tuners are perfectly balanced. Your situation with your noise level and RFI and all that other kind of stuff. Once you get away from the balance, and it's another step. It's, uh, it's a big step. And you'll be, uh, you'll be a happy kid. Yeah, Bubba.
Well, the thing is, with the Measures Design Tuner, it's not band pass, so you can cruise the bands. You don't have to retune when you're just listening for a place to park. And there's a number of other advantages, like you can set it up so that your antenna can be a DC ground. There's nothing wrong with a flash box, but it does have its limits. It doesn't like low impedance. That's one of the limits. They're great tuners. I used to have a pile of them, like floor to ceiling pile of Johnson kilowatt matchboxes. So anyway, to each his own. And antenna tuners are like religion because people don't understand stuff. And that's how that happens. W2, very weak. And I mean that. Yeah, my father was building those tuners with uh, with the balance uh, the balance tuner with the you know the balanced L network with the uh, uh, the balance on the input. He was building that stuff in the 70s. He built it out of an Art, uh, an Art Collins design from the 30s, which was a uh, link coupled uh, output uh, balanced link coupled output, and that was his Pi Network antenna tuner. That's what he based his on. He just Substituted the balance for the, on the input for the tank circuit in the uh, you know in the PA. That worked great. And I have his prototype. He built it for 160 meters. It's got roll inductors on it too. It's very nice. And uh, he always talked about patenting it and never did. That's the tuner my father actually uh, recommended me to build. Was that tuner? I thought that sounded familiar. I remember I saw a nice one that Dave built at the uh, Armstrong event. You're listening to it right now. Cool. Hi, guys. Appreciate the, uh, the info and the knowledge and the wisdom. It's always greatly appreciated. Talk to you guys later. There'll be three in the more. I'm not coming back. Oh, we could make you a ski up again. Good night. Ice cream. So I said ice cream. He came back. Oh, Lord, the band is going long.